Hi and welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be talking a little bit about this tiny proton pack that I 3D printed. I created all of the files and 3D printed this. Uh, this is actually for a, a 1 8 scale Ecto-1, but uh, the files, I have them uploaded to CG Trader and uh, these can be scaled up if someone wanted to print uh, a full-size proton pack or they can print something small like this but I wanted to talk a little bit about the creation of this pack. So this is the finished proton pack. This is um, FDM. Uh, this is not resin. I've got some resin examples here. They're the gray ones. Uh, this is uh, printed the same same way. This is FDM as well. Uh, on the inside you can see the remnants of some of the supports. Uh, so this is the this is the finished version and you can see some of the details like this uh, shock mount or uh, they call it bellows as well is actually printed in individual layers and stacked together kind of like plates. So there's there's spaces in between like the real one. Um, some of the other more difficult things to print would be like this um, heat sink here. That's printed in in layers as well, individual pieces that are pushed together, uh, glued together in a jig. I made a little uh, a jig to keep everything square. The way the wand comes off in the with like it does on the real pack, the wand comes off, mounts on right there like that, and this is printed in such a way that uh, the motherboard, the Alice pack, they're separate files so if, if you wanted to put electronics inside you can. You'd be able to light up the cyclotron and the power cell. Uh, so there's plenty of space inside for, for electronics or maybe even a little uh, speaker. Uh, this is a, a resin printed. The whole thing it basically has every piece uh, that would be appropriate to the pack. These aren't cleaned up. They're just straight off of a printer, and this is uh, from a resin-type printer. Uh, so the, the detail on the resin is a lot higher. Uh, the only disadvantage, like I said, this hasn't; these supports haven't been cleaned up. Uh, the disadvantage is this particular type resin that I have is uh, somewhat brittle. So other resins wouldn't be as brittle. Then this is the new version of the Alice pack. It has the rivets, uh, the, the D-rings for, for the straps. There's also some little detail up here for the straps. So this one is a lot more detailed, but again, resin printed, and the resin is a much higher resolution. So in the files, there are various variations, like the bumper has a couple of variations with different, the different types of uh, mounting options, where these are headed, socket head cap screws. There are also the appropriate um, Phillips heads. Uh, different versions with, with or without the shock mount. So depending upon how a person wants to print these out, they can either come out full version like this, or you can print the individual sheets, the individual plates, and stack them together to get a more detailed shock mount. Uh, this is the booster frame, uh, the correct size, correct uh, spacing of the ladders in between these little rungs. And that goes on that is this ribbon cable, uh, excuse me, rib ribbon cable clamp. And it's uh, got the socket head cap screw incorporated into it. It's pretty tiny. Uh, the booster tube. Uh, and then the center portion of the booster tube that'll slide inside there. And that's to facilitate... They're separate. There's also a version where they're together, but these are separate that you can uh, to facilitate a thinner type wall. Then these are the injectors, injector tubes. Uh, they have the little uh, 
these these are actually barbed fittings but uh, these have the little fittings on there that uh, you can put the the hoses on it also has the little angle bracket and with this there's versions that there's a version that doesn't have all of this stuff so you can print out just the tubes or you can print out everything like this as well these are beam line and filler same option you can print with or without the fitting on top depending upon uh, what kind of resolution your printer is uh, when you're doing when you're doing resin you can incorporate pretty much any detail the the level of detail on a resin printer is far superior to to an FDM this is the HGA it has all of the parts incorporated to into it the fittings, uh, the socket head cap screws, the plate that you'd put the decal on. Um, so that, again, this is printable with or without all of these fittings. Uh, this is just the, uh, the end filter. And it's designed with the cutout so it can mount directly on the side here. Uh, The ion arm, this has this particular has all of the resistors and connectors on it. But there again, there's versions in the files with or without all of these details. You could print them all separately if you wanted to. This is the Raytheon crank knob. Um, kind of a small, small thing, but that that fits right here. Um, Here's another, here's an example of the, the tiny clippered valve. Uh, it, are, it has the screws associated with it. So this could be printed out, painted, and a decal applied, and it'll look just like the, a miniature clippered valve. Now this is, was just a, a trial run, resin printed, and actually kind of at a low resolution, just to see what it would look like if I threw all of the pieces on which is also a, a, a portion in the files where you there's a there is a file that has all of the pieces incorporated so if you want to try printing everything out this was just a pretty quick attempt so it's not cleaned up there are some errors where you can see down here on the clippered valve didn't print properly so there are some some things that uh, are relevant to the print process or relevant to cleanup but this was just a quick trial just to see what it would look like. So I didn't expect this to be very good. Uh, but this is just a quick rundown of what comes in the, the files that I have posted. They are on, again, on CG Trader. Uh, this, you can also print shells individually with nothing on them. Uh, the resin prints pretty nice. So if you do have a resin printer, however, Again, a, uh, an FDM prints pretty well as well. So, but this is just a quick overview of what's available. So if you do have any interest, though, that's where they are posted. Thank you for watching. Uh, there is more on its way, so stay tuned. One of the things I need to focus on is not saying um all of the time. Uh, or uh... <laughs>